Hi, my name is Jordan Gatewood. I'm with Mackie Mitchell Architects. We served as the design architect for Res Hall Phase 1. Uh, phase 1 is the first of four phases of a redevelopment of the South Quad, which will ultimately become the heart of the first year experience here at DePauw. Let's go take a quick look. Phase 1 is a four-story building, um, really designed to be um, very similar in, in feel to the DePauw buildings on campus. A lot of red brick, uh, limestone, but unlike a lot of buildings on campus, we try to incorporate a lot of glass so you can see all of the vitality and energy in the building. As you enter the building, you'll be able to see your friends inside of the building. And as we come in, we enter into a really open and generous uh, social space where um, you'll be welcomed by uh, the front desk workers. You'll see a lot of your friends in this wonderful really well, well daylit environment that has a lot of great views to all the action happening outside. Sustainability is a big feature of this project and as students make their way upstairs they'll be able to see um, live how the building is performing from an energy perspective on an energy dashboard. One of the things we wanted to create in this project is a really open stair that's very welcoming that really invites students to come up use the stair, not use the elevator, really um, interact with each other. Uh, it really promotes a, a sense of well-being within the building. One feature that I love about the stair is that each level it provides a really unique view of campus as you get higher and ascend up through the building, giving you views of uh, buildings like East College and its roof uh, forms. Each floor will lead up to a floor lounge, which is basically the heart of each floor. The floors are broken into two wings. Each wing is an RA community of about 24 students. We've provided a lot of uh, different sizes and types of lounge spaces and furnishing types to really provide students a lot of choice and variety in how they interact in spaces. So let's take a quick look through one of the typical RA communities. Each RA community uh, there's two per floor. Each has about 24 students per RA. It was really important to keep the RA to student ratio low in these buildings to really promote that level of interaction uh, with uh, community members. Um, as you saw, I swiped in um, coming in. So each community is accessed um, in a very secure manner. So if you're part of this community, you have a swipe card that allows you into the living area. So each um, RA community has 24 students, um, but those are divided into pods or clusters of 12 students. Those 12 students will share a set of uh, community bath fixtures. It's not the community bathroom that you imagine uh, from years ago. Um, it's more of a club style community bathroom that has um, compartmentalized features. Uh, so water closets and uh, showers are all behind private doors. Um, so providing students that privacy that they want, but also because they are sharing uh, the vanities uh, within those spaces, there is a level of community building and sharing happening in those spaces. Each cluster of 12 uh, meets here in what is basically um, the community living room. Um, each of these living rooms um, throughout the building are appointed in a little bit of a different uh, fashion. Um, each floor has its own color scheme um, and each lounge actually has its own kind of furniture grouping. So over time we anticipate um, a lot of different activities happening in these spaces and throughout the day students can kind of modulate um, how much activity they want in these. Um, they're really spaces that this whole floor can kind of own for themselves and it really becomes a, a community feature for these 24 students to really uh, bond. Um, by having this uh, shared amenity.